Were dinosaurs mentioned in the Bible? If not, why? When we flip through the pages of the Bible, we've got to understand that it's a document heavily rooted in its own time and place, ancient times in the Middle East. It's a collection of texts that span centuries, full of metaphor, narrative, and oral tradition condensed into writing. Now, dinosaurs roamed our Earth somewhere around 230 to 65 million years ago, which is a ticket stub to history way before the Bible's chapters were ever dreamed up. The idea of actual dinosaurs as we understand them didn't even punch its ticket into scientific discourse until the 19th century, when paleontology became a thing and people started unearthing old dino bones and piecing them together. The biblical authors had no concept of what a dinosaur was because, to state the obvious, they were working with a different set of knowledge and evidence. To be fair, they mentioned some pretty wild creatures, like Leviathan and Behemoth in the Book of Job, which are sometimes stretched into dino theories by young Earth creationists. But mainstream scholarship steers clear of these interpretations because, come on, a little context in the poetic nature of these passages suggest they're symbolic beasts, loaded with metaphor, not descriptions of a T-Rex stomping around the Fertile Crescent. So no, the Bible doesn't mention dinosaurs because it's focused on guiding principles and stories that relate to human experience, spiritual themes, and the cosmic chess game between good and evil, not a National Geographic rundown of the Mesozoic era. And here in Portland, we know all too well how important it is to understand context. I mean, when we look at our own urban myths and local tales, we don't assume future Portlanders are going to believe we lived alongside giant hipsters crafting brews big enough to water a brontosaurus, right? It's all about understanding the stories for what they are, reflections of the time, culture, and the knowledge available. So, dinosaurs in the Bible? Not so much. The big lizards missed that arc by a good few million years.